this is for And this is for And this is for Welcome back to fifthroundmovement.com and in this episode we're going to take a look at the cement gray Jordan 4s. I couldn't be more jacked about this release. I've been a, I'm a huge fan of Jordan 4s. I've been waiting for the cements forever. They came out in 89. I was a little kid. I didn't get them. Came back out in 99. I, I just slept on them for some reason. I was being stupid. Then they came back out in February 2012. I couldn't wait to get my hands on them. When I found out they were retro in the 4s, I acted like this. But before we get into the fours, let's take a look at some of my all-time favorite colorways, one of my all-time favorite shoes. If you're not rocking either some Lacoste stuff, you already lost. If you're not wearing either some Raider stuff, you already lost. If you're not rocking either your official fifthroundmovement.com t-shirt, you already lost. These Spizzax came out just about the same time as the military blue fours. I got these instead, and in that case, I already lost. All right, so now we got some history on the fours. We're going to get into the brand new February 2012 Air Jordan Cement Gray 4s. I picked mine up at TakeOver in Montclair. And uh, let's get a look at the box before we dig right in. I don't know if they're going to do this box for all the Jordan Retro releases in 2012, but I hope they do because it's, you know, the, the, the classic Jordan box is cool, but this is this is even better. We got the, uh, the Red Jump Man on the, on the top with the flight and script on it, you know, bringing back that late 80s Air Jordan feel. My entire bottom of the box is cement gray pattern. Pretty much get, gets no sicker than that. And then the most important part of this packaging is right there on a sticker. It says my name. That's the kind of juice I got. Um, you know, if you guys are camping out for these, people have been paying three, four times the price online already. And uh, luckily enough, the guys that take over took care of me, put mine off to the side of my name on them. Some of the other people that get that treatment, DJ Envy, Fred the Godson, Fabulous. I don't know if they got the fours or not, but the fact that I'm in that that same conversation, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of feeling myself. Alright, so enough about the packaging and how cool I am. Let's get a look inside the box, take an in-depth look at one of the most anticipated sneaker releases of 2012. We're gonna remove the lid and we'll greet it with some you know, black paper, nothing special there. We're gonna open them up and we're gonna see that great iconic Air Jordan 4 silhouette, three-quarter height, great with jeans, great with shorts. Pretty much be worn 12 months out of the year. Start at the outsole, predominantly gray and black, red jump man right at the midfoot, and working the way up from there to the midsole, we have the air visible air bubble unit in the heel. You know, traditional of any Air Jordans from this era, they all had it. The fours are no exception. Work our way up from there, and there it is. The cement gray that everyone's been waiting for 10 years for, uh, more, more than 10 years. Definitely happy they brought that back. Now this is a little darker than the originals. Everybody kind of knew that from the pictures that surfaced online over the last couple of months. And a lot of people hated on that. I guarantee you, everybody that hated on that, that it was too dark of a gray, is still trying to get their hands on these right now. So you have the cement on the midsole, working your way up. You got some beautiful full grain leather. Um, a, lot of, a lot of retro Jordans recently have been taking a lot of hits online. They're not the same quality they used to be. These seem like they're pretty good quality. and. Uh, I'll be honest, I'm not going to play basketball and I'm going to find out. Then we got that six cement pattern again on the wings that made the Air Jordan 4 so iconic. And then we have some real clean white mesh on the, on the middle and on the tongue. We're going to work way up from there. Obviously, you got white laces with a shoe like this. And we have a red jump band with flight written in script on the tongue. Shoot around to the back. We have some more cement hits on the heel. And we have a jump man. There were some rumors over the last couple months that we're going to go back to the Nike Air logo. Um, that's, that's probably not going to happen. Let's all be realistic and uh, let's not split hairs here. These, they're still a sick shoe with the jump man on the back. Alright, so let's work our way inside the shoe. We have Air Jordan in red written upside down on the tongue just like it used to be back in the late 80s. We have a black insole with a red jump man on the inside. And then one thing that's really cool they're bringing back for 2012 is the orange Nike Box inspired jump man hang tag. With a shoe like this, you definitely want to get yourself two pairs, one to rock, one to stock. But between the recession and the fact that they're released in pretty limited numbers, that's almost impossible. And I only got one pair myself because like Mob Deep said, when it don't get low, the second pair goes or something like that. But uh, I can't wait to wear these. Hopefully I keep them fresh for as long as I can. Check me out on Twitter at Mr. Fifth Round. Check me out on the TakeOver New Jersey blog, TakeOverNJ.com. Every couple days, throw out mixtape reviews, sneak reviews, stuff like that. Check me out at FifthRoundMovement.com. New episode every Friday. And this is for. And this is for. And this is for.